You knew it was bound to happen. As baby boomers get on in years, they, like everybody else, want to cheat father time. And they're doing it in record numbers. In the past five years alone, the number of men and women aged 65 and older getting plastic surgery has doubled. We have women now in their 60s, sometimes even early 70s, that want to have breast augmentation or want to have a tummy tuck. And I remember, you know, the first patient, I thought, wow, should I be doing this? Like, are they really too old? But I think, you know, people are living longer now and they're no longer accepting, you know, I'm 50, I'm 60, I'm over the hill. They don't give up anymore. I think that patients ultimately want to look as good as they feel. So maybe the new 60 or 65 is 10 or 15 or maybe even 20 years younger. But I think that people are living a more vibrant life. We know they're living longer and we know they're living healthier. They have more energy and they want to look as good as they feel. Austin-based plastic surgeon Dustin Reed has noticed a jump in senior men coming in for a variety of father time cheating procedures. And are really interested in staying young looking and, uh, and want to stay attractive in, in the market, in the workplace. And so I think that it's great. I remember early in my practice, my oldest breast augmentation patient was a 68-year-old woman. She was going back to her 50th high school class reunion. Her husband had passed away and she was going back to see her high school sweetheart. And she'd always wanted to have a breast augmentation. Now she's kind of going back and that was her motivation. And she was excited to finally being able to do something that she's been wanting to do for herself for so long. And I tell patients all the time, I don't do life-saving surgery anymore. This is really about life-changing surgery. I'm approaching 45, so, or I am 45, so. 50 is the new 30. 